will insert and configure an off-delay timer in Network 1 of an existing TIA portal project block. Start by programming the condition to start the timer, in this case a normally open contact. We will now drag and drop an off-delay timer, TOF, onto the line from the catalog. Because the timer is actually a standard function block, an instance data block is automatically generated and assigned to the timer. A pop-up window allows the user to enter a unique name for the data block and or manually number the data block. You can also accept the system generated name or number as we will do in the example. At the PT input, enter the desired delay time or location the delay time is stored in. We will enter 5000 milliseconds in the example. If required or desired, enter a storage location for the timer elapsed time. We can now program an output element to be controlled by the timer. The timer has been configured and is ready to use. We must download the block to the PLC. With the block downloaded, we can now monitor the block to observe the timer operation. With a low on the input in, the output of the block is low. When in goes high, the timer outputs immediately and Q remains high so long as in stays high. When in goes low, the timer starts timing and Q stays high. The elapsed time is displayed at the ET output. until the elapsed time equals the set point time at PT, at which point output Q then goes low. The timer resets with the next high at N, and the sequence starts again with the next falling edge at N. However, the sequence can be interrupted by the return of a high value at N, at this point, the timer resets and awaits the next falling edge. 